If you want to take your highlighting game to the next level, then I highly recommend these powders, especially when you want that really crazy highlight. This is the way to go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. So today, I thought I would share my boxy charm with you guys. So let's just jump right into it. This month's theme is peace, love, and boxy. It's very Coachella-y. So the first item in the box is by Pure, and it is their Festival palette. I actually really enjoyed this palette. It even comes with a big mirror, which I love. I ended up using about five eyeshadows from this palette, and all of them are pretty good. I wish this purple was a little bit more vibrant. I really had to pack it on. But overall, I really, really like this palette. I love the colors in it. It's so pretty. And these packed glitters are amazing. They are definitely messy, but that is expected of glitter. They definitely pack a punch and they totally transform your look. I have fireworks all over the lids. And these really grab onto your lids. They're not like the super flaky glitters. So that was nice. And this palette also came with a little primer sample. This is the Pure Get A Grip Endurance Eyeshadow Primer. I don't normally wear eyeshadow primers, but this one was like really sticky, so I could kind of see and feel a difference. It kind of grabbed onto the eyeshadow, which was really nice. So I did really like this. I wish it was not in one of these little sample like packets that you can't close. <sighs> I hate when they give samples like this, but this is something extra that they just threw in, so that's nice. But overall, this eyeshadow palette was definitely a win for me. Next up, we have these beautiful Luxie brushes. This is the Summer Days 3-piece brush set, and I absolutely love Luxie brushes. We get those often, I feel, in like subscription boxes and I'm not complaining. I actually really like these. It comes with the Luxie 512 Small Contouring, then the Luxie 209 Large Shader, and then the Luxie 245 Small Shader. So these were so great. I can never get enough of eyeshadow brushes. They're just my favorite. But I absolutely loved this one for my banana powder. It was perfect, it fit perfectly. It's kind of flat on this edge, which I really like and packed on the powder really well. So I love these brushes and they're so pretty. It's like a sunset. The next item is by Bodography, Bodiography, Bodiography. I'll stick with that. It is their eye pencil in Bali Bronze and it is a wooden eye pencil. I do not like wooden eye pencils. I don't like wooden pencils in general, whether it be for eyes or lips. I hate the fact that you have to sharpen them. But this didn't really impress me at all. It wasn't very smooth. I tried it on my waterline and it just was like tugging at my waterline and pretty painful. So I did not like this, like at all. On to the next one. If you want to take your highlighting game to the next level, then I highly recommend these powders, especially when you want that really crazy highlight. This is the way to go. These are the Artist Couture Diamond Glow powders. I actually have one of them. It's called Illuminati. So beautiful. And this one is in the color Summer Haze. This kind of has like a peachy tint to it with a lot of glitters, but it doesn't have chunky glitters, which is why I like it. And finally, we have this holographic lip gloss by Appeal Cosmetics. I've never actually heard of Appeal Cosmetics, but I'm glad we got to try them out. This is in the shade Trendsetter. This actually made my lips feel amazing. It's actually infused with argan oil, which is probably why. It was super moisturizing. It made my lips feel very juicy and I loved it. Even though this is a holographic lip gloss, it's actually quite wearable. There's not too huge of a holographic effect, but just enough to where it gives your lips like an extra dimension, you know what I mean? It gives it a really nice shine and makes it look really juicy and plump and I love it. I mainly add this just to the center of my lips just to make them look really, really full. I did add this over a lip combo, but it looks pretty just on its own as well. On its own, it is pretty much just like a clear gloss. There is just a tiny bit of extra shine because of all those little holographic glitters, but that's why I chose to add it over a lip combo. But overall, I really like this too. I love getting lip stuff in our boxes. I always get excited. Overall, I would give this box a 9 out of 10. I loved every single item in this box except for this little pencil thing. Did not like this. But everything else was super impressive. Alright guys, so that's it for this BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your BoxyCharm this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video.
Bye.